Okay, so welcome back. And now we're going to start talking about using um, trig identities to solve trigonometric equations now. Okay, so this is a summary of all of the different identities that we've done up to this point. So again, these are the ones you need to know. Memorize them. Know them. Okay? Uh, because these are what we're going to use to solve all the different examples that I'm going to do next. Okay? So again, the Pythagorean identities. Okay, remember how to get the uh, other two. Remember, all you have to do is divide the, uh, the first one by, um, by cosine, or excuse me, by sine to get the second one. Divide the divided by cosine to get the third one. Okay, and again, we've already verified those in, in previous videos. Uh, and also the reciprocal identities. You know, know those. Okay. And then we have the even odd functions. Remember what odd, even and odd functions do? Okay, so for example, remember an odd function is when you put in the opposite value of the domain, it gives you the opposite value of the function. So tangent of op, you know, negative theta gives you the negative of tangent theta. So this is an opposite, this is an odd function. So all of these first four, the first four are, are odd functions, as you can tell. The last two are even functions because even functions say if you put in the opposite value of the domain, so x or in this case theta, then you get the same function back out. So the function is unchanged. So again, remember, this is a, a if you look at the graph, this would be symmetric about the origin, which means you could rotate it at 180 degrees and you get the same graph. Uh, where this says that you are... Um, uh, symmetric with respect to the x, um, or excuse me, the, um, the y-axis. This is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. So that means you could flip it across the y-axis and you get the same graph. Okay? And then we have the quotient uh, identities, okay, that we've talked about. So these are what you should know. Make sure you know them going forward, and we're going to be doing a bunch of examples using these. See you then.